We begin tonight with new tensions in the Middle East and new fallout from that attack on Saudi Arabia's largest oil facility. Here is a brand new statement from the president writing on Twitter. Saudi Arabia oil supply was attacked. There is reason to believe that we know the culprit are locked and loaded depending on verification, but are waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of this attack and under what terms we would proceed. He went on to say there's plenty of oil amid concerns this attack could affect markets tomorrow. A senior administration official also telling CNN earlier these strikes likely originated in Iran or Iraq. As we get brand new images showing the purported damage that has affected 5% of the global oil supply. CNN's Jeremy Diamond is live at the White House for us. And Jeremy, tonight we're seeing the president really trying to calm nerves. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the most serious statement that we've seen from the president uh, so far on these attacks on Saudi oil facilities that took place yesterday. The president here suggesting that the United States is locked and loaded, which suggests some sort of potential military response uh, once the United States has identified uh, with, with uh, uh, certainty who was responsible for this attack on Saudi oil facilities. Now, the president is not in this tweet naming uh, a specific culprit, as he calls it in this tweet. Um, but what we do know is that U.S. officials, other than the president, have already begun to do so. The Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, just yesterday directly blamed Iran for this attack on Saudi oil facilities. And today, I spoke with a senior administration official who said that this attack likely originated in Iran or Iraq. Uh, and, of course, uh, the notion being that even if Iran, Iranian forces did not directly uh, undertake this attack, that it would have been take, undertaken uh, by Iranian proxies in the region, militant groups uh, that often have a very close command and control relationship with Iran and particularly its Revolutionary Guard Corps. So uh, there are still questions about who exactly is responsible and whether the U.S. Uh, is going to make that determination. The president here indicating that he is waiting on Saudi officials who've been a lot more cautious, I think it's important to note, in terms of laying blame for this attack. Uh, he is waiting for Saudi officials to say who they believe is responsible, but nonetheless Less. The president suggesting here that the U.S. is uh, locked and loaded uh, once it determines who indeed did undergo undertake this attack. Anna and Jeremy, what can you tell us about these new satellite images? Uh, do they offer any clues as to what happened and who's to blame? Well, uh, we do have new satellite images, commercial satellite images that were provided to us by a U.S. official, and it does show uh, some of these 19 targets that were struck um, by this attack. Now, we do know that the Houthi rebels in Yemen uh, have claimed responsibility, saying that they used 10 drones to attack these facilities, um, but U.S. officials are casting doubt on that, saying that uh, because most of these facilities were struck at the northwest point of these various facilities, um, that it's unlikely that it emerged uh, from uh, Yemen, which is in the south of Saudi Arabia. Instead, uh, senior administration official pointing to Iraq or Iran. Now, we have spoken with some of our CNN military analysts who have looked at these images, uh, and they do say that, yes, it is uh, more likely than not that it emerged that these attacks came from the north, meaning Iran or Iraq. But they are saying as well that it is not definitive proof. These satellite images are certainly not definitive in terms of laying the blame at Iran's feet or where the country of origin was for these attacks. Jeremy Diamond at the White House. Thank you for that update. Joining us now is CNN military analyst and retired Rear Admiral John Kirby. Admiral, based on those new satellite images, are there any conclusions you can draw similar to what we're hearing from the administration? Well, what I am struck by those images, and you can see it there right on the screen, is the precision. It's almost pinprick precision, particularly when you look at those holes in those tanks. Uh, obviously, using some sort of munition with a low uh, explosive uh, pay payload, obviously, because these, these tanks are still there. You just got these holes in there. So that that tells me is very precise munitions, also really good intelligence and targeting. It's not the kind of thing that we've seen from the Houthis in the past. Nothing to say that they couldn't have developed capability, but they've been assisted by Iran since the very beginning. So it would lead one to believe that certainly they, if it was them, they had a lot of help and most likely from a nation state. Uh, and certainly I would be looking at Iran as well. As for point of origin, there's nothing in these images that convinces me that we know for sure that these munitions, whether they're cruise missiles or, or drones, 
drones, uh, you know, missiles from drones came from Iran or Iraq. I mean, just because the damage is on the northwest side of these tanks and of those structures doesn't mean that that's where that 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 de designates point of origin because cruise missiles uh, can maneuver uh, and so can drones. And so you, you, you can't really definitively say uh, that they came from Iraq or Iran just by looking at these pictures. I think if the if the White House wants to be more convincing, they're going to have to release imagery uh, that gives us a better sense of point of origin than these. And the president says a lot in that most recent tweet we read at the top. He says they're waiting to hear from the Saudi kingdom now about who they believe is to blame. He's using words like locked and loaded. Yeah. Um, they, uh, what does that tell you? What could this mean? Well, it certainly suggests, as Jeremy, as Jeremy reported, that he's looking at military options. I mean, the locked and loaded is a very military term, and uh, and you know he's it, it claiming it sounds like he he knows you know who who actually uh, originated these attacks. But it is interesting that Sa the Saudis have been quiet; they haven't cast blame yet. Uh, I don't think that they think it's in their interest to necessarily start a war with Iran. Uh, certainly, they will want to retaliate or respond in some way. The question is, does it have to be a military response? And if it is a military response, how do you do it in a proportional manner so that it doesn't resolve or resolve itself into a larger conflict that doesn't cause uh, exacerbate the tensions uh, any higher than they already are? Why would Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, though, go there so quickly blaming Tehran? I mean, his tweet yesterday was really quick and, and very direct. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I, I, I was stunned by how quickly he came out uh, saying with certainty that he knew that Iran was behind these uh, attacks. And again, these images to me do not convince me of that necessarily. Uh, and uh, that was that was surprising. I mean, he's been very hawkish on Iran, uh, just like John Bolton was. Uh, he sees Iran as sort of the epicenter of all the trouble in the Middle East. Uh, and he has been itching for a way to continue to maximize the pressure on Iran uh, with respect to their nuclear capability. Uh, but I, I'm struggling to see how it's in anybody's interest this early on uh, to be picking a fight over this uh, until we know for sure. And even when we do know for sure, Anna, mm -hmm. I hope that the president is keeping his options open, all of them, that, the, that we aren't just looking at the military tool to use in response to this, that there's a whole range of options that they, that they consider. There's no reason to let this escalate any higher than it already has. And in fact, Kellyanne Con Conway, the White House counselor, did say this morning that they had not rolled out uh, meetings with yeah. The president and Rouhani, the president of Iran as well. Okay, Admiral John Kirby, thank you for being there for us.